Hello, Hofstra fans. Welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com. Anthony Santella, now joined by the head coach of the Hofstra Pride men's lacrosse team, Seth Tierney. Coach, how are you? Everything's going, Anthony. So, a little bit of a rough week for the Hofstra Pride. 0 and 2 against Stony Brook and Providence. To start with the Stony Brook game, a 13-5 loss at Stony Brook. Stony Brook led the game 7 nothing at one point in the first quarter. Just what happened? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, anything that could go wrong went wrong this week. And uh, and we need to we need to get better. I mean that's just the way it is. Uh, the Stony Brook they played uh, they played really well. Everything they did kind of clicked in the beginning. Uh, you know the final three quarters uh, it was more of an even game. We know they're very talented, a senior laden team. Um, and uh, you know that that first quarter, if it, if, it, if it's not seven nothing and it's just a one goal quarter, then we got ourselves a lacrosse game. And um, but you know that they, that's part of it. And we need to uh, we needed to bounce back and. It's going. To, it's taken us a little longer, uh, obviously, with the with the Providence loss as well. Brian Von Bargain in that game had a hat trick, but it wasn't wasn't really enough to get everything going. How do you like his play recently? Yeah, Brian's been playing well. Uh, he's been finishing his opportunities, uh, and and that's what we need to you know uh, make contagious. You know, when you have an opportunity, you got to be able to finish it, and uh, we haven't had enough of that. Um, and we've had guys that have all. Ultimately, have taken you know uh, you know ha haven't had the, the game that we hoped that they would have, um, so we're hoping to get everybody back in the boat and, and start paddling together. Uh, Providence on Saturday, a 12-7 loss in Rhode Island. Uh, you guys score the first goal of the game, and then Providence battles off five in a row to take a 5-1 lead. Is that another situation where you just didn't come out the way you wanted? To play? Well, when we came out, we put a, a huge emphasis on you know getting the first stop and scoring the first goal, and, and that's what we did. And we were hopeful that maybe that would trigger. It going away, and then um, a, a couple of a cast of events had taken place, and, and we were just uh, we were back in quicksand a little bit, and we needed to uh, to get out of it. Uh, brought it back up to two, I believe, maybe at halftime, and um, and I had, a, I had a chance to make it to one a one goal game, and missed a you know a, an empty netter, and uh, just went wide, you know, not due to any effort scenarios, just the ball just happened to go wide, and. Uh, and there was other other situations, but we need our uh, we need our leaders to lead. We need our better players to, to play better. And uh, and listen, we've had a rough week. Um, I, I can only describe it to you as uh, it's a it's an illness. It's a, you know when you get sick and there's no medicine to take. Um, we struggled, and and hopefully we're starting to get better. And we we learn from it. Every team kind of goes through it, and the teams that that shine at the end, um, it's because of how they handle weeks like this. I believe in our guys. I believe in what we're doing. You don't beat teams that we've beaten this year uh, without doing the right things and guys believing in what's going on. Uh, we've got a very formidable opponent coming in on Tuesday night that puts up goals. I mean, Vermont has a couple of Canadian players that can put the ball in the goal, so we're going to be tested again. Um, but I, I just hope that you know we're getting over this illness a little bit and we can start to play some healthy Hofstra lacrosse. And you talk about Vermont's offense, Hofstra's offense. I know you don't really put as much emphasis on that as more of a defensive team, but only averaging nine goals a game on the season. Is that something you'd obviously like to improve on? Yeah, certainly disappointed uh, in that, and, and certainly the last you know couple of games. Um, you know, we've lost the last three out of four, and it, it's due to, to, to both. It's due to the whole team. You know, the whole team. It's not due to the offense not scoring enough. It's also due to the you know the defense not doing their job. So it is a complete team effort when you win, and it's a complete team effort when, when you don't win. And we need to, like I said, um, I, I can only you know uh, analyze it in a way that uh, our team was sick this week, and hopefully we can. You know, and there's no medicine to take to, to magically make it go away. You got to just survive it and outlast it, and uh, and let's get back to the winning ways. A couple of things that I wanted to talk about: the clears and the extra man opportunities for Hofstra. It's not really where they're normally at on the season. Only 26% on the EMO, 82% on the clears. Yeah. How do you describe those parts of your game? Yeah, EMO has uh, certainly we've underachieved there. Um, you know, and and we need to. It's not like we haven't gotten shots, but we just haven't canned those shots. And we're going to tweak it and. And uh, and continue to find it. You know, again, we those two things we didn't talk about during the, the wins because they weren't issues, and now they've they've are you know kind of uh, arose as issues, and, and now we're going to get back on top of it. And uh, you know, uh, again, one day at a time, uh, a rough week. Again, we need to clear the ball better, but it's it's every part of it. Uh, ground balls need to be tilted our way. Um, the clearing needs to be better, like you said. Man up! You need to be in a better percentage than 26 percent, um, and we need to make sure that we don't foul, so we're not playing man down too much, 
and, and giving them made up opportunities. And this Vermont team that you talked about, 12 goals a game, 3-4 and four on the season in the America East. What's the game plan going into that? Yeah, I mean, look, we have to defend as, as one unit, and, uh, and guys have to do their job and do their role. And when we have breakdowns, it's because there's a, a link in the chain that isn't doing their job to the best of their ability. And defense is very unlike offense. Everybody needs to be involved in defense. If there's one weak link, people are going to find it, and we go from there. So we need everybody to, to do their job to the best of their ability. Offensively, um, we need to understand what we want to do on offense. Uh, we started out pretty well. People made some adjustments. Now it's our turn to make some adjustments, and, uh, and we need to finish the opportunities. We play a little bit a little harder and, uh, and a little bit more focused. And another week where you have two games, Saturday, take on St. John's. Is there any sort of looking into that game right now? Mm, zero. I think you probably got that answer <laughs> before you asked it. Head coach of the Hofstra Pride men's lacrosse team, Seth Tierney. Coach, thanks for the time. Best of luck this week. Thanks for having me. This has been the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com.